everyone, it's Carrie back with you today. I recently purchased a pack of these thank you cards and there was also some that were invitations. Uh, and it came in a pack of 25 with cards and envelopes and they were in like the chuck out bin or the bargain bin for 10 cents. So I knew that I wanted the envelopes but I wasn't sure what I would do with the cards. Anyway, uh, when I got home, it's not a, not a very heavy weight card stock. So I thought they might make uh, nice pockets and washi tape is something that I have a lot of and don't use very much. So I thought this would be a good project to use some washi tape on. So I've created these pockets and I've, I've colored the background using my Lindy's and I'll show you how I've done that. The back of my pockets is not finished because I'll probably glue these in, but if I change my mind, I can just pop a piece of coffee dyed paper or something over the back there. Um, these, you probably can't pick it up very well on the camera, but because the greeting is very heavily embossed, it shows up on both sides. Um, so that's why I would cover the back, but like I said, I'll probably just glue them in. So anyway, I will be using um, my washi tape, some book page scraps and also my Lindy's. So I'll clear this away and we'll get started. So what I have here in front of me are some backgrounds that I've already prepared. Now, um, some of these, I've got bits missing and things like that, but that doesn't bother me because when you actually get around to making it, your background is in the background. You sort of don't see much of it because of all your other embellishments. So don't stress about it too much, like trying to make it perfect. And you're never going to get two that look the same. And don't be too critical about how they look when you've just done the background because they're going to look completely different by the time you finish. So I've got quite a few here that I've already done, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I've used my magical powders, my Lindy's magical powders. Now, these are a highly pigmented powder that you just mix with water to create like a watercolour. Um, you can mix as much or as little powder as you like to get whatever colour, depth of colour that you like. And if you mix them in a little palette like this, when you finish using it, you can just let the colours dry out. Uh, I've got one here that's a bit grotty, but you'll get the idea. So these have all dried out, but I can just add water to these and that will reactivate them. So there's never any waste with this product. So I've got my invitation card here and this is going to be my front. This has embossing on it, which shows through on both sides. So that's going to be the back of my pocket. I'm going to apply a little bit of water just to my card and I'm also going to apply a little bit of water on my acrylic plate here. I've got a watercolour brush here and I'm just going to start applying a little bit of colour randomly on my acrylic plate here. And then I'll just dip my card into the colour. So I've got enough colour on there and then I'll set that aside to dry. Now that's actually a little bit brighter in real life than what's showing up on the camera. And then I can also just take my brush if I want to and just flick a little bit of extra colour on there for interest. And when that dries, they'll sort of uh, brighten up and you'll see the shimmery gold in those splashes there. So I would do a batch of these all in one go, which is why I have so many that I've already done. So I'm just going to clear this away and I'll, then I'll show you how I decorated them. So this one is from the stash that I have already prepared. You need to make sure these are fully dry before you start applying things like your washi tape or it's just not going to stick very well. So these ones have already dried and that is what the front of my pocket is going to look like. So I'm just using my bone folder to crease down the spine of the card there. Now my card doesn't line up completely but I'm not worried because I'm using washi tape over my edges so that's going to hide any of those imperfections. So I've, I've just got a few different washi tapes here and I've also got some book page. But if you've got scraps and things like that that you want to use up this is a great project for that. So I'm just going to take a piece of this wide washi 
and I'm going to use that to seal this open edge of my pocket here and I'm not going to worry that it doesn't go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom so that's closed that side of it now so I might use some book page now just to add some variation Now this side of my pocket is already sealed because that was the spine of the card so I don't really need to add anything there to make sure that it stays closed but it, my edges I'm just folding around if it was a very small edge I'd cut it off now this piece I'm going to put down in this bottom corner but I'm also going to use it to seal the bottom of my card here So I'll fold it up from the bottom first and then I'll fold it in and if there's any little stray bits they can just get snipped off might just have one more small piece up here so the very top part of my card here isn't quite sealed that round then I can just trim the little excess piece off so that side of my card that was open is now all sealed I still have a little piece down the bottom here that's open so I might use I've got this ridiculously huge washi tape here So I'm just going to tear a piece off it. I like this one because it's actually got a backing so it's a bit like a huge sticker sheet. Just stick that across the bottom and then fold the rest up behind. So now my pocket is fully sealed on all sides so it's just a matter of decorating it now to your liking so I've got this scrap here so I might as well use that just go about there somewhere these little mushrooms are cute so I'll tear those off this tape I might put them on this side because there's a straight line down there so if I put them over this side the torn edge will show and a little piece of script here again this has a straight edge on this side so I'm just going to hang the straight edge over the side and then wrap that around the back so I've got a torn edge down here and I think I need something up here extra off but I feel like I need some here as well so um, some more of this scripty one here now I want this on this side I don't want to I don't want this straight edge so I'm just going to tear it tear it this way funny as soon as you're on camera trying to find the edge impossible 
All right, so now I have sort of this framed look with all different bits of washi and scraps and things like that. And I want to add a couple more bits that are a little bit more bold. So like this one sort of stands out more and this one here stands out more. This has got a label on it and these labels here. So I've got this dark washi. I might use some of this. And I might just put it like that and then I want another little small piece just to balance this side but I'm going to tear it down the middle so I don't have another straight edge tear it a bit more that'll do there Use up these bits that I've got okay so now I want to put a focal image on so you could use a sticker like I've used these plant stickers here you could use a fussy cut if you've got something that you've already cut out so for my focal point I've chosen this plant sticker just pop that roughly in the middle there and then I've got some sticker sheets here from Kayser Craft that have all sorts of different borders and elements and things like that on. And I might take a label for this one. Trim that white edge off there. That can go there. Then might have one of these butterflies, I think. Those. It's a little bit big. Might do all right there. Might stick that one there as well. So there we go, that's our little pocket pretty much complete. And then to make a little thumb hole for the pocket, I just use a punch, just eyeball it. And there we go, all done. So if you wanted to finish the back off, you could just layer another piece of coffee dyed paper or collage or something onto the back. And then you've got a floating pocket. So there we go. You could also use this technique to use your greetings cards. If you've got lots of Christmas cards that were gift given to you at Christmas, you could use them to make some collages. Anyway, I hope that's given you some ideas on how you can use up your washi tape. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you again next time. Bye.